Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for June 18th through the 24th. This is for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever signs of Capricorn. Third full week of June. Capricorn. Queen of Cups. Now, this is in your past position. This is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or somebody that is very loving and kind. You know, that could be you. That could be you. This is an energy of um, emotional, okay? Very emotional, very um, caring, okay? Maybe you're feeling very caring. Maybe you're feeling emotional. Or maybe you're following your intuition, okay? Because she's very intuitive. Maybe in the past, um, she was prominent. I don't know if it's a man or a woman. The King of Swords reversed. The world reversed. Justice. You guys could have been dealing with an air sign. Uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. We have Libra twice. Um, it feels as though, you know... You, you may have felt in the past, recently, recently, there's probably been some sort of argument with another person over or argument or words with another person that were harsh. And you may feel like, you know, you had really good intentions, but this person um, may have treated you unfairly in some way. There's, it's like there's unfair treatment here. Um, and it feels like right, you want justice. And it feels like justice is going to come. Justice is going to come for this situation because I feel like you're a beautiful person. Okay? That's what this is telling me. It feels like you're going to get your justice because you um, are so caring. And I don't care what anybody else has to say for all you cross watchers. Every person, I don't care what their sign is, has caring ability. And um, I feel as though... Um, there is some sort of closure that is needed or emptiness inside that you are about to get. There's some kind of closure that you are going to get that balances out your life because it's what you deserve. This is pretty interesting, huh? There's this king of swords reversed. This is, this is unfair treatment. This is abusive. It feels like um, you may have been dealing with a person who was verbally abusive or mentally or even physically abusive towards you. And it's caused you to feel empty inside. But justice is going to be served. Okay, Justice is about to be served. Okay, um, I don't know how. Let's find out. There's something going on behind the scenes you don't know about. It's like the, the universe is working in your favor. And I have to tell you, if you are receiving any signs, intuitive signs, pay attention because you could be receiving them at this time. I feel like your intuition is trying to give you messages. So really, really pay attention. And to your dreams. Really pay attention to your dreams at this time. They are trying to give you messages and tell you something. I, yeah, you deserve this justice. You were dealing with a situation with somebody that that it you know it wasn't what you deserved. They were out to harm you. They you've been you've been hurt by another person, Capricorn, and and now it's as it's as though um, this karmic lesson is about to. It play out. It's about to get the, the closure that it needs. Okay, because that's what it looks like. I feel like you were. Um, there wasn't equality, whatever this is. The outcome is not. This is this is the basis now. This is the basis. Hold on. Let me get the rest of them so I can get my my mind back on track here. I'm gonna get this zoomed in. My mind went haywire for a second. I apologize. Sometimes that happens. I had so much coming at once, and sometimes that happens. And when that happens, I have to. 
I have to slow down. Um, <laughs> Whew. Yeah. Something's happening fast. Something is something something is happening really fast. Maybe somebody is charging in your direction and this person um didn't treat you correctly in the past. That's what it looks like to me. You're probably dealing with somebody who is verbally or mentally abusive and you know they may have brought a lot of imbalance to your life and it feels like you may have you may have ended that with them but the closure hasn't come yet and it feels as though they may be coming back into your life so that this karmic cycle can actually be dealt with this karmic whatever lesson needs to be closed i don't think it's closed yet i really don't and you could be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio or Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. That's what I see so far. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I do feel as though you are probably going to um, have your guard up. Okay, you're probably going to be very guarded when this person shows up that is charging in to, to bring you justice in some way. Somebody is coming in and um, probably because this closure is needed, whatever it is. That they're coming in very, very quickly. I think at uh, one time somebody uh, walked away from the situation. And um, needed time. Needed time to think about it. And they took the time to think about it. And now they're they're on their way. They're on their way to, to bring justice to this situation. Okay. Whether it's good justice or bad justice. Okay. There's definitely some karma here. And it's what... What has... The basis is you not getting what you deserve. You are dealing with a situation where you got the short end of the stick. That's what it looks like to me. And now you are you are about to receive the justice that you so rightly deserve because you stand up for yourself. Because you stood up for yourself. And, and I think now, you know, somebody else, the other person, whoever this is, that wanted to escape reality, didn't want to didn't want to own up to any of their part in this, you know, whoever that person was, has um, had time to think about this. You know, they've been enlightened. That's what it looks like to me. And and maybe, you know, they're, they're coming in to, for some reason, let's find out. You know, your advice is to keep walking. Keep walking, okay? Because this is your advice position. Keep walking. Don't don't look back, okay? They see you as um, con being confused, okay? They see you as easy to manipulate. They do. They think that you are, and even though your Capricorn and the cross watchers are going to say that you're the manipulator, there ain't one sign that don't know how to manipulate, so don't even try it, people. Okay, so we all got it in us. We do. So anyhow, um, this this person that you are, that I'm talking about right now that has um, harmed you in some way, hurt you in some way, um, sees you as um, vulnerable, okay? They think that you're vulnerable. They think that they can um, confuse you, you know what I mean? Because this is how they see you, the moon card. They see you as um, fearful, you know, like you have a lot of fear and they can feed off your fears. So keep that in mind. The best the best thing that I can say is to keep walking. Do not let them in. Okay, don't let them in. This is something that you really do need to think about. Okay, because they're coming in quick. Whoever this person is, they're coming in very quick. Um, it's karma. This is definitely karma. Um, Your challenge is your your how how well you stand up for yourself. This is your challenge. I mean, you are going to have to defend yourself in this situation when this person comes in to clean up this karmic lesson, okay? When it has to be dealt with. Trust me it does, okay? And you know, with Capricorn, it is the year of Capricorn really dealing with their karma. So I, I'm, it is what it is, right? So anyway, um, there is a karmic, karmic lesson here that it hasn't completely, the, the door, the, it hasn't been ended yet. Okay, karma lesson. This lesson is reversed. It hasn't been closed. And your, your challenge is how you handle it. Okay, how are you going to handle this situation? 
Okay, make sure you think and don't act impulsively. Okay, think before you act, okay? Is this, you know, what do you deserve in this situation? Um, it appears that you may want to just reject this offer. Okay, you may want to just reject this offer when it comes in because, you know, it doesn't look like there's no solid new beginning here. I'm going to get some... Um, advice cards look at that yeah you're restoring structure and balance in your life it's as it's as if you know this person comes in to to comes in very very quickly to shake up what you the work that you have done so keep in mind that um You need to make you need to be clear you need to be you need to be sure that you're not going to upset all the the work that you have done on yourself it, it appears to me that you know you've gone through some period of healing okay you have you've brought back the the balance or you've been working on bringing back the balance and the structure to your life you've worked really hard to do that it's like you you're finally free you're finally free of this and as you get free of this 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 situation comes charging back in and now you have to be clear um, with your decision and really set that clear intent I mean when you when you do get your justice make sure that you are speaking clearly and letting this other person know um, how you truly truly feel I see that you're going to have to defend yourself and and be clear on your intent and I don't know where that's coming from but it's coming from somewhere advice okay this is your advice your advice is that in the past this offer of love whatever it was wasn't solid Okay, it wasn't solid. It was, this person was, um, unbalanced within themselves. They, they lived, um, they lived via extremes up and down, extreme happiness, extreme sadness, that kind of thing. So your advice is to probably not make any compromises. <coughs> not make any rash decisions to not indulge in this false um, offer of love I feel like you are probably going to be offered a, a cup of love from somebody that doesn't have true intentions and you will be called to discern this situation with the best of your ability and common sense okay it feels as though you've worked really really hard to restore balance and control of your life you freed yourself from this toxic person okay you have you freed yourself and now this person is coming in to get the closure that they need and bring you the closure that you need the karmic the karmic cycle hasn't completely um ended yet but i think this could be the the time that this karmic debt gets paid, you know, and justice is actually served when it actually becomes final because the justice is about finality. So I feel like right around the corner, you are going to get the closure that you need from this situation that harmed you in a very big way because you continue to stand up for yourself you continue to be decisive and you continue to break these bonds that um, have held you back so it, it looks to me like you guys are clear on what you want and that no one can come in even though they're going to try no one can come in and um Well, I just want to get one more card right here. Mess up your happiness, okay? This person is a naysayer. Whoever you're dealing with is a naysayer. They have nothing good to say. They're not suited well for you. They're going to come in, and they're probably going to fill you up with a bunch of lies, a bunch of bullshit, you know, because that's who they are. They're moody. They're temperamental. They don't even know what they're saying, 
you probably this person probably has addictions and whatever whatever well all that I have to say to you Capricorn is there probably is going to be somebody that comes charging into your life or you hear some gossip about a person I think it's somebody coming in that is coming to offer you some false offer of love because I think because they're confused they feel guilty this karmic debt needs to be paid you know it's time for it to be paid so this needs to be dealt with it has to be dealt with it has to be so I feel like this person comes in and they make you this offer and it's a complete bullshit and you have to really stand up for yourself and all the work that you've done on you and make, and be clear on your intent for the future. And as you're clear, this karmic debt will be paid and this situation will die. But until you are clear and you set those clear intentions and you speak your clear truth, you know, then the karmic debt isn't going to be final. Yeah, for many of you, it's 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 about you know the the future. Here we have the future is about working on yourself. It's about continuing the process. It's about enjoying the finer things in life, taking care of business, self love. So I feel as though you are going to continue on the path that you have been on. This is a minor hiccup where closure is needed, and it is probably going to come this week where somebody comes in offering you a false illusion of love and you see right through it and 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 send them back in express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture what's that mean And that could go the other way because this is rejecting an offer. The Six of Pentacles is rejecting an offer. That's not balanced. Okay, there's this person, whoever it is, they lack balance within themselves. And maybe this express your love is go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And a romantic gesture is loving yourself. Okay, it is. Anyway. Woo! Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning. Remember, pay attention to your dreams. I told you that at the beginning. Pay attention to the signs. Beware. Caution. Absolutely caution with that moon card and with the knight of swords. There's caution here. Beware. Somebody's going to come charging in to, to mess up the progress that you've made. And part of a karmic lesson is to be strong. So I feel like you know, you guys are going to have to stand up for yourself and realize this for what it is. Okay, this person is not solid. They don't offer you any solid. They're temperamental. They're moody. They overindulge. They um, harmed you in the past and, and they don't have it. They're, they treated you unfairly, mentally or verbally abused you. It didn't, it wasn't what you deserved and you deserve a whole lot more. So I feel like it's about... You know, you pay attention to the red flags to not let this happen again. Because when this person comes in, you know, it's going to pull at your heartstrings. But you are going to have to stand up for yourself. And this doesn't have to be a love relationship. It could be any other situation. I feel like there is somebody that's coming in that has hurt you very badly in the past. And you are going to have to push them away. And that is what I have, Capricorn.